Upside down cats that are always upside down. Upside down cats that are always upside down. Upside down. Upside down. Upside down cats that are always upside down. now because you're suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. That's a good idea. Should we come along with you? It's probably all those ISIS beheading videos you've been watching. <laughs> Plus the fact that since you've been doing this series, you've witnessed an awful lot of people being slaughtered needlessly <laughs> just for the sake of a few laughs. Shall we sing a song while we're going to the vets upside down cat and see how much fun we can have? Oh, upside down cats, they're always upside down. Upside down cats, they're always upside down. Oh look, it looks like we've arrived upside down cat. Oh look, that man who's covered in blood look, looks like he's in charge. Let's go up to him and see how he can help. Ah, upside down cat. I wonder when you'd come in. You look a bit distressed. Let's uh, have you up on the chopping board. I mean, up on the on the on the bed. Uh, let's, let's see what we can cut off. I mean, uh, help you help you with. Yes, hmm, yes, hmm, yes, hmm, hmm, yes, hmm, yes. Ah, yes. Yeah, I think I see the problem. You're still alive. Now, where's my whiskey? Oh, I can see what he's doing upside down, cat. Uh, a lot of surgeons use alcohol nowadays. It's, it looks like he's going to anaesthetise you. Yes, he's taken the top off and... <coughs> Uh-oh. He's pulling it down his own throat. Yeah. It looks oh. like he's anaesthetising himself. That's a new way of doing it. Oh, that's so much better. Now, let's get you into that vice. Where's my hammer? Peter! Where'd you put my hammer? Uh, I was just using it to put Mrs Edge's Labrador to sleep, boss. Oh, I didn't know we, she'd brought it in. She didn't, boss. I just saw it waiting for her outside the post office while one of those massacres was going on. Ah, uh, good idea. Always keep your eye on for opportunities, Peter. That's how you get on in this world. Oh, yes, boss. Ah, uh, hmm, hmm. In this next world as well. Yeah. Hmm. Something tells me you won't be here very long in this one. In other episodes of this series or anything to go by indeed. Yes, boss, I'm sure you're right. Let's hope so, Peter. For all our sakes, in the name of the prophet, as they say on those videos. <clears throat> uh, let's let's uh, let's hope so. Mm. Let's hope so, boss. Isn't this interesting, mm. upside down cat? Mm. I see you enjoyed that. I can see you enjoyed that. All your fur is standing on end, <laughs> and your back is hunched like you're going to leap across a road the length of Pete Doherty's arrest record. Uh, keep wise, boys. There's a there's a, a geezer coming in. There's only me, boss. Oh, okay. Uh, and the cat. Aha, uh -huh. oh, yes, the cat. And that fellow who talks about the cat, you know, like he is the cat. Oh, yes, him. Good evening, gentlemen. Ah, ah good evening, sir. Uh, may I say what a fine evening it is today? Indeed, sir, you may. Indeed, uh, what a fine evening it has turned out to be. Are ah, you uh, new in town? Not seeing you around these parts? I get around. Uh, you ride into here on your own? No, I've got a mobility scooter parked outside. We don't want no trouble, mister. We're just trying to go about our business. Trying to castrate a few animals when we can. When they're still conscious. Maybe do a lobotomy on a dog while it's still awake. That sort of thing. Uh, ah, oh, sorry I was miles away. I was thinking about all the things you were saying. Uh, ah, well I didn't like what you said. Save it, Peter. Yes, there's one thing the likes of him understand, and that is extreme violence dished out with severe prejudice and lashings of brutal sadism on the side. Isn't that right, sir? Uh, well, not really. I just wanted to know if you sell trill for budgies and how much it is. They peck at you, uh, it, you know. It's good for their beaks. The local pet shop doesn't have it anymore. You can't get it anywhere else. He's lying. He's been sent by the West. On your knees, infidel! Peter, get a video camera and my best knife. Mr Cameron, you made us do this! Oh, please, 
No, God, help, please. I just want to, the chill or anything else that's good for their beaks. No. Right then. I've got a quick luck. Neck it. Oh, when ah, I bend down. That's it. Oh, 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 please, no. Oh, 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 my head oh, is supposed oh, oh, to be attached oh, oh, to oh, my body oh, there. Oh, it's how everyone is, has it nowadays. Not if they come in here, they don't. Steady, Peter. Make sure you get all of this. You've got my best side. Got it, boss. <sighs> Bonsai! <laughs> that's one for the collection. Yes, we can hang it outside the shop, just over the doorway. Great idea, boss. Uh, won't it drip on the customers when they come in, though? Yes. Yes, he will. Cool. He was a nasty one, boss. You could tell by the colour of his anorak. He wouldn't have spared any of us. What, what colour was it? Blue. The same colour as Hitler's eyes. You're right there, Peter. I always am, boss. Ever since you started injecting me with that elephant tranquilizer. I've suddenly realised that I've always been right about everything, especially when it comes to bloody senseless savagery like this. I know what you mean. Remind me to start injecting you with that antipsychotic medication when you finish with the cat. Heads up, boss. It's a local Bobby on his rounds again. <coughs> <coughs> Good evening, gentlemen. <laughs> Good, evening, Good evening, policeman, policeman pancake. pancake. Everything all right with you, ge- you two gentlemen, I trust? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, gentlemen. Okay, that's good to hear. Another beheading, I see. There seems to be a lot of beheadings going on around here. A lot more than normal. It could make a guy suspicious. <laughs> oh, oh, honestly, the policeman pancake, I, I really don't know what you mean. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. <laughs> no, 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 I, I don't. Uh, in fact, I was just saying to Peter, while we were cutting that gentleman's head off, that I hadn't seen anything suspicious going on for quite a long time. Wasn't that what I was saying, Peter? Uh, you were, Bush. Yes, you were, I was. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Is there something you want to tell me about? Uh, well, we're just trying to go about our business, Policeman Pancake. That's I okay. know you are, Johnny. I know you are. Oh, oh, this is ridiculous. Is it? Is it really, Peter? I wonder. Yes, it is, goddammit. What are you getting at? What's your point? Oh, no point, Peter. No point at all. I'm just going about my business. Isn't that right, Johnny? No one called me Johnny before. My name's Vet. I don't have a beginning or last name. It's just Vet. It's the only name I've ever had. Hmm. A little touchy these days, Johnny. Or Vet, should I say? I'm just telling you... The way it is. <laughs> okay, Johnny. Let's play it your way, shall we? Anything unusual going on? Suspicious characters? Oh, come on. I'm not stupid, you know? Uh, no, no, I, I, didn't, I didn't know. You know. You may not realise this, but I actually respect what you do here. Oh. Castrating dogs, wearing <laughs> yeah. their knackers around your necks yeah, like yeah, medallions. Don't you think I'd like to do that? We all would. What's stopping you? What's stopping me? Mm. I'll tell you what's stopping me. My job, my home, my family. That's what's stopping me. Don't you think I'd like to stitch an ant onto the back of a mouse and see what happens? Don't you think I'd just love to get a chicken, fill it with petrol light, and watch it fly off the rails into the distance? There he goes over the mountains and across the sea. As dawn is breaking. You know, it, it's not always like that. Isn't it? No. Isn't it, Johnny? Sadly, no. He's right, you know. Sometimes you just run out of animals or, or you finish them off too quick. And you're left wondering what it's all about. You do, Peter. For I do too. I get fed up of solving all of these crimes. The other day I clubbed a man to death. The week before that I robbed an old woman of her pension. Not even a real policeman. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. You know, those questions are really at the heart of everything. That, that this programme, this story, this universe and everything in this show is all about. Because in the end, what is life all about? I oh, know, boss. I've been thinking about that a lot over the last few seconds. And I think I've discovered the answer. What? What, what is it? What is life all about, Peter? 
Wahhabi Jihad Bonsai. Bonsai. See how they are impaling policeman Pancake on that spike upside down. Ken? Look, now the men are busy disemboweling themselves and pulling each other's test intestines out, like the fishermen holding them in a net. We know a song about disembowelment, don't we, upside down? Ken? Shall we sing it and see how much fun we can have? Oh, upside down cats, they're always upside down. Upside down cats, they're always upside down. Upside down, upside down. Upside down cats, they're always upside down.